Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're cooking us up a Cornish hen dinner. Super easy, super tasty meal. You know, I like to use a Cornish hen because, you know, the, it's a good size for two people, and it just seems classier. It's, it's more sophisticated. Now, to prepare your bird, you just want to throw it over on its back and slice it right down the middle, right through the center of the breast, all the way through. If you've ever seen any of these Halloween movies, Jason, whatever, you know exactly what you got to do. Get angry if you have to, but when you're finished, it should look like a couple of Siamese twins that had a fallen out. Now go ahead and spray a little oil in your pan and throw your birds in there. And now we're going to season them up. I'm just going to use basic seasoning for this here, not get too highfalutin. A little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of rosemary. You want to take your seasonings, rub them into your bird, you know, work them into the skin, work them into the flesh. Go ahead and flip them over and do the exact same thing on the other side, you know. If you like a lot of seasoning, put a lot of seasoning, you know, if you're a little soft, you know, cut back on it. I'll have some suggestions in the recipe, but just experiment. With the rosemary, I usually use like four or five sprigs. You know, I take the leaves off, dice them up really well so that I can get the flavor throughout the dish. The garlic, I usually use a whole bowl, you know, I just chop it up, put it all in there. You know, it sounds like a lot, but you know, it's going to cook for a while, so it's not going to be as strong a flavor as you think. The next thing to go in the dish is the potatoes. You know, I'm going to cut up two potatoes because I'm feeding two people, but you know, cut up as many as you think you're going to need, but do them in about one inch size pieces. Because you're going to have it cooking for about an hour and you don't want to cut it up too small and make it mushy. Same goes for the carrots, you know, about the same size. I'm using four for this recipe. I'm going to go ahead and throw my rosemary stems in there, put a little more salt in there. And I'm going to throw some cayenne pepper as well, give it a little bit of heat. And uh, you can put whatever spices you want. You know, you can put a little bit of cumin, a little bit of uh, Cajun spices. I'm going to put my leftover garlic and rosemary in there. And lastly, I'm going to top it with some onion. And I use a whole onion, pretty good size one, chop it up into some big chunks and just layer it across the top. And that's going to help to keep my dish moist as it's cooking. Also going to give it a little bit of flavor. Now I'm going to top off the dish with one quarter cup melted butter. Spread that all over the top. Let that soak down in there. It's meat and potatoes after all. Butter's going to make it taste yummy. Get your dish covered up. And we're going to slide it into an oven for one half an hour. Cook it at 400 degrees. Now we're only about halfway through cooking it, but we're going to go ahead and uncover it. Get things mixed up, get those flavors moved around, get those juices flowing. Then we're going to cover it right back up, slide it back into the oven. Now after 15 minutes, we should be cooking. So we're going to go ahead and uncover it once again. But this time we're going to leave it uncovered. We're going to get everything mixed up. We're going to spoon those flavors around. We're going to put our hens on top. And if you want, you can go ahead and spoon a little bit of juices and butter on there. And this time, we'll put it back in the oven uncovered for 10 minutes. And really, that's about it. You know, or it could be it. You know, you could just leave it in there for another five minutes and call it quits. But what I like to do is I like to get it out, put the oven on broil, and then broil each side of the hen so I can get the skin kind of crispy. So I usually broil the inside first. So go ahead and flip your halves over and slide it back into the oven for two or three minutes. You know, keep your eye on it. You know, once that side's done, bring it out. Go ahead and flip it back over so the outside's exposed. Put it back in the oven. And then when you get a nice crisp skin on there, it shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Go ahead and pull it out. And there you go. You know, I'm going to sprinkle a little oregano around it. You know, I'm going to serve it with some sliced tomatoes. Now, don't that look delicious? And that's just meat and potatoes, you know. You cook a meal like this, that's how you stay in good with your significant other. You know, that's the secret to a happy and healthy relationship. You just got to cook a decent meal every now and then. It's hard to stop eating once you start. Mm -hmm. You hear that train coming? Mm -hmm. 